everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Charlie and in today's Minecraft Dungeons video I'm going to be walking you through what I believe is the best sword in the entire game. We played this through on pumpkin pastures and well I'll let the weapon explain for itself and I'll have a cheeky catch up with you at the end. By the way there might be some belching or some swearing throughout this video purely because it was recorded on my mixer streams which go off a little bit from time to time. You should come watch sometime. Please enjoy the video. So we're going to do pumpkin pastures, two secrets, two chests, relatively easy I'd say, but the main thing about this is actually showing off Heart Stealer, which is the brand new weapon we got last night. Um, I want to see if we can get this critical hit uh, up to four, so we need to level up two more times, and then we're going to have full enchantments on this boy. Leech's health for mobs, massive melee damage. We've also got a couple opportunities to improve our heart as well. But I just like it so much that I'm not really ready to let go of it yet. Um, so we're just going to see how we do. Is there anything left back here? No. Okay, fine. But yeah, this, to be honest, this is just me going to be having more fun with a sword because I didn't enjoy it enough yesterday, all right? More things. Oh, I didn't get you, did I? Get, get out, get out. Thank you. What? Dead. Dead, dead. What's in here? Anything? No. This is the one with the button. Right. I know in my heart hearts, this is the one with the button. It wasn't Creepy Crypt, it's this one. We are going to press the button on this, okay? So there might be two big reveals in this video. Our secret and this hella good sword. Oh, Jesus, come on. It's just cruel sometimes. Ding! Wow, I told you all I was close to dinging, didn't I? It was the end of the last video. It was like one or two kills away. Can't upgrade that yet. Oh, I want to see if I can get the achievement for um, having fully enchanted gear in all three slots as well. I think we needed 10 enchantment points for that, didn't we? But we'll get that, I'm sure. interesting this area is completely empty it looked like it would have stuff here it looked like it was an offshoot you know smack dead wallet and that was a heavy skelly heavy skelly it may work if i send invites okay sweet i will send some invites and we'll do some co-op after this level if you want folks any tips for finding secrets anything to really look out for or sound cues so the main one I point out every time is just making sure you explore every single corner of the map. Um, a couple of them, um, so for example, in the creepy crypt, when you're underground, clicking on some of the skulls, if you see them, might help. This, I think, is the secret. It's like, yep, there you go. If you don't die, which thankfully doesn't cost a life, there is normally a secret. If you see that there, uh, try to roll over to it and get a secret, and then don't be an idiot about dying. Um, so while all the levels are procedurally generated um, and they're completely different each time, you can recognize these little mini patterns. I need to come from this side, don't I? That's it. So there you go. I got that. Ah, beans. Right, that was rubbish. That was proper rubbish. Never mind. Yeah, something leading away from the main map. If you can see little bits and pieces going somewhere, go check it out. Go look at it. Go figure out what's going on. Even if it leads to nowhere, just start clicking around, have an explore. Sometimes the map will just like to randomly generate little bits and pieces. But what? What's the problem? At the end of the day, you're going to play Minecraft Dungeons for a little bit longer because you're exploring everywhere. Good news in my ears. Gas me. Oh, look at this. I can eat. Oh, we got a uh, Geo Geomaster. Where is he? There he is. My gorgeous sort of dress necklace thing. Dead. Right. I mean, this ship has to be something. I'm I'm pretty sure this ship is going to be something. Maybe this will be what the button is. You know, the button that I can't figure out. Once I press the button in this level, we'll have to come back and see what's up. Hey, Dave Dog, how are you? Thank you for the host. Uh, play Terra, hello, thank you so much for the follow as well. Uh, okay, 
I can't climb up that way, I don't think. But that's some weird connection to that part over there. Let's do a quick heal, why not? Over there, deal with them. Deal with them for me. Oh, whoop. Creeper in one hit. Come on. Come on. Just, just unfair. Just unfair at this point. Just one hit to most of, like, the standard enemy types. Oh, you're now enchanted, so we need to do more to you. Okay. And the range on it's really good. I was nowhere near that dude. Still smacked him up. Oh, a little chicken jockey. Oh, cool. Yeah, that had firework written all over it, didn't it? And then. Shut up. Miss them. Sorry about it. I like that this chief took two shots. But these dudes take like one or two. Like, yeah. Chiefs, same health as bad guys. Confirmed. <laughs> Alright, what's this down here? Ooh. Okay. Now, I don't think this is a secret chest, is it? No. So we now have actually all the standard chests of the game. Oh, 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 what's happening? All right, I can't use this in here. Let me just throw it away over there because I don't want it. It's going to annoy me and I'll end up accidentally killing myself. Nice. Is that a secret? No. Though that did just add an extra chest on before we were on two out of two and now it's gone up to three out of three. So not a secret chest, but Ooh. we just unlocked a new level. Arkhaven. Okay. Is that going to be on the map then? Mm. What's your armor weapons looking like now? Good question. So we're using the heart steel sword we picked up towards the end. It's been described lovingly by Cockney Charmer in chat as the Jon Snow of swords, as it also steals a bit of hearts as well. Still rocking the wither armor. I think this is really good, particularly the uh, benefits of having 100% souls gathered. If you notice when I kill things, all the little skulls and the souls come towards me. Um, otherwise, I'm not sure if those would have to be collected like emeralds because I've just not played it without souls being gathered. The lifesteal ore is really handy, damage reduction and the health. I'd like to upgrade this. But I don't know if the wither armor is locked specifically to a boss or if it was just a really lucky pickup. And then we have the harp crossbow, still my favorite. Still don't think anything's going to replace it. We have a couple of bows that we like are way more powerful. Uh, this one, for example, the master's bow and the scatter crossbow are really good. But they're not the harp crossbow, so I don't, uh, I'm not really, I'm not ready to get rid of it yet. Especially when it's still doing plenty of damage. I don't feel like it's underpowered at the moment or that it's holding me back. So we're going to keep it for now. We'll see. The wither armor is amazing. It's fantastic. It's another... I think I'm, I've got myself in a corner now where I really like my entire setup so much that I don't really want to change it. <laughs> I just think it's so good. Why why fix something and broken, you know? Oh my god. How many of those did I get? Sorry. Ridiculous. Okay, we got another Geomancer. Where are you? There you are, boys. Got ya. If there's anything back here. Oh, can you see this bird that's flying around? I never know that before. That little shadow. Look at what that is. 
thank you, R7. Uh, yeah, my gaming setup's pretty rad, not gonna lie. It's uh, lots and lots of help from other people to get me where I am. Um, didn't get here by myself. How the devil do I get up there? Have I missed something? Mm. Are those stairs? No. Oh, it's up this corner bit, innit? Yeah, there we go. Beans, beans, beans. Alright. It's time to just blast a few of you out of the way, right? confused about the enchantment points right okay well let me come down here because there's normally a little thing get these okay so enchantment works every single time you level up you get an enchantment point right so at the moment i've got three you can see here and on each of the items there's this curly thing that tells you how many enchantment points you currently have equipped to that weapon so on this one we can we have spent enchantment points to level up each of the enchantments we have on the weapon and in order to upgrade them one more well, I mean, after you get to tier three, you can't do it anymore. But if I wanted to upgrade this one more, I would need three enchantment points, which I have. But I'm saving it, this dude, which needs four. Uh, and there is an achievement for reaching tier three on every enchantment, on every melee, um, armor, and ranged weapon. So that's an achievement I'm working for. Hopefully that clarifies a little bit. One of the really cool things, though, is if I did find a better harp crossbow, I could salvage this throw it in the bin say i don't want this anymore you get loads of emeralds for selling it and you get all 12 of these enchantment points back for you to put into a new weapon it doesn't cost you at all to just play around and start leveling up items as soon as you get them there's no point saving all of your enchantment points until you get to level 30 and then start propping up items then you might as well start cracking on with it now lads oh my god my favourite is when so much is happening on screen, I can't even see myself, and I'm unsure if I made it out of it alive. That's a big thing for me. I like that very much. No, you won't get less back. You will get all of them back. Every single one you spend. So theoretically, whatever level you are, that's how many points you have to play with. Okay, let's make sure I'm exploring all of this area. There's some back here. I don't want to miss any secrets. Stop it. Run away from me. Are the maps procedurally generated, Vinyl Manic? Yes, they absolutely are. Every single map is... There's elements to it that are the same. So, for example, the pirate ship I saw at the beginning, I've seen a couple times. But its placement and where it is um, in the game are completely new. I know there'll be a supply chest around here somewhere. There it is. So, like, I'm starting to recognize elements, but the entire map, how you get to it, what enemies you see, how many uh, mini-bosses there might be along the way, that's different every single time you play. So, this bit, I knew what this room looked like, and I knew that there was a little crossing to get up there, but I have no idea what's going on up here. There might be loads and loads of stuff to do. There might be straight on to the boss. Um, that's the procedurally generated bit. Okay, so here we're going to have to do... There's going to be a little fight. We go up here. Yep. Yes, these like scripted elements because every level is a mission, technically. Oh, he didn't even hit me then. Move. Oh, ooh, okay. Friendly fire on your own enemies. That's interesting. Never seen that before. I'm too busy killing them all myself, you know? Go away. Not too close to me. Awesome! Find the village. There'll be another chest up here. Another supply chest, I think. What's that? See the souls chasing after me there? I think that's what my wither armor does. I'm not sure what effect that would do if I didn't have that armor on. Open the gate. And then there should be another supply chest. There it is. Okie dokie. Still got this one secret to find somewhere, haven't we? Yeah. 
What's the replay replayability like? Morg is asking. Very, very good. I've completed the game. Oh, there's normally an evoke around here as well. I've completed the game at this point. I finished it last night. I'm now on a harder difficulty level where the enemies take longer to kill. Um, my armor and my power is getting better each time. Oh, oh, enchant. I have never seen an enchanted passive enemy before. Oh, God. Wow. Right. Skeleton horseman. Uh... Oh, God. I nearly died. I got so enthralled by the enchanted cows, which, by the way, fast attack, double damage, and burning. Sure. And the skeleton people, but I nearly died. <laughs> Um, so yeah, does each level change slightly every time you play it? So basically, on every single difficulty on every level, there are six levels of difficulty to it, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't. I'll explain better when we're on the menu. So you can choose to play this a higher power level than you are, which I'm currently doing. I'm playing this currently five power levels higher recommended than I am, because I like a challenge. Um, or you can choose to do a lower if you want. Ah, oh, dang it, it was Hunter's Armor. I thought that said Wither Armor then. Um, and then what you do is once you've played through, once you've grinded out the highest possible gear on all of those difficult levies, levels across all six, on all ten levels, then you can take on the boss and it takes you up to the next one. You start off on de default mode. Once you've completed default, and by complete it means kill the boss, you then go on to adventure mode, which is what this is now. And once you kill the boss on adventure mode, you then go on to apocalypse mode. And there's actually an achievement for defeating the boss on apocalypse mode. And that is the one I'm going for. I think every other achievement you'll pretty much be able to pick up along the way to get to that last one. So if everyone aims for that achievement, you should 100% the game, I think, pretty easily. What's this? I've missed the pick up back here. The game is absolutely worth it r07 110 percent thank you for the host by the way oh i'm actually back here okay i thought i was going a new way around right lads lads back up make sure i there we go That was rubbish. I've not drank enough of my drink yet. Sorry, please don't rate that burp chat. It's not worth the time. You alright, Team Gorilla? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. The zombie jockeys are adorable, aren't they, Lizzie? Ah, crap. Alright, he, yeah, he snuck up on me then. Well done, creepy. Whoa. this corner they are very fast aren't they super quick one one and another one oh that's a lot of boys and there's a lot of boys over there So this is something I found from doing adventure as well, is that there are just remarkably more uh, mobs everywhere. Jesus Christ. Yeah, more of them want to fight you. There's just more people everywhere wanting to have a little go. We need to have a little go at you, you know? I like the, the feature that... Uh, the walls, the little fence things that you put on, you can't jump over them like you can't in main Minecraft, I believe. Unless I'm thinking of something else. I think I've, yeah, I'm thinking of Minecraft. Whoa, Crippler, thank you for the 2,000 embers. Holy crap, dude, cheers. How the devil are you? Using my beacon and now. Oh, oh, okay, here we go. Boss time. Got one more secret to find on this level. Not sure where that's gonna be. Just 
go around all the corners. Sometimes there's a little secret that pops up on the coast near the boat. So we'll have a look there. But we did find that extra level, which we are totally going to be looking at on the map. 100%. Right, normally around here, if you run past something, you might a little chest that might pop up. No, this one. The secret isn't here. I'm not sure where it is. Here? No. Please, do one give me a secret chest. No, okay, it's not there today. Fine. It's been there in the past, all right? Trust me. Trust me. Yeah. Okay, that's everything uncovered. Let's do an evoker, shall we? Maybe the final, maybe the secret will be the boss. I don't know, because there, there is definitely a boss that pops up at the end, so. Let's do it. Ring the warning bell. There's three or four waves, and then there'll be the boss. But I think this is the first boss I've done on arena mode, so I'm interested to see if this will be much difficult. Much difficult isn't a word, Charlie. Not been using my wolf enough. Oh, lucky me. Got out of that in time, huh? Let's eat that. Try not to uh, use... Oh, he's enchanted. I'm trying not to use my firework just yet. It's so powerful. I want to save for the boss himself. Crap, crap, crap. Get out, get out, get out. See, I don't want that to explode. Right, dog's dead. I'm trapped, I'm trapped, I'm trapped, I'm trapped, I'm trapped. Okay, I'm going to have to use my firework to get out of here. Yeah. Crud. He put me in a corner. Right, boss. Here's the boss. And I just used that. Okay, mind the floor on, dude. Range, I find, is the best defense against this dude. Purely so you have plenty of time to move away from his floor attacks. Because you can see them start rolling towards you. I mean, you can just move that shot. And then also when you have um, a half crossbow like I do that has really good projectiles, it also gets rid of all the little sleepers. And there you go. Bossed it. Dunzo. Right. So we missed we missed a secret, but we found a secret level. So that's the walkthrough essentially on how this sword is the freaking best if you don't mind me saying <laughs> let's did. see what we get the in our chest of the pumpkin pastures go on to fight another day yeah they do good boys what do we get nice nice never down once zero deaths thank you very much defeated specifically 14 spiders okay oh look it's this chest this chest in my room has opened and is so it has on the game. I got a light feather. Yeah, it's fine. It's not the best. It's not that sword, is it? Ba -ba -ba -bear, ba -ba 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 -bear. <laughs> I'm. I mean, it's self-explanatory, right? That is absolutely one of the best, if not the best, swords in Minecraft Dungeons. But if you have a melee weapon that is better than mine, let me know down in the comments below. And while you're there, leave a like and sub too. I will see you in the next Minecraft Dungeons video, which. Oh, would you look at that? It's going to be here pretty soon. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.